human beings have this innate need to tell stories uh, of the past. We look, we look to uh, the past, we create this history, this story, this narrative that explains you know, sort of how we, maybe as a culture, got to where we are. The narrative is not necessarily based on facts always. It's, it's, it's based uh, on a story that makes us feel good, makes us understand who we are. I, I, we believe that this is part of a, uh, being a human being is coming up with these stories. The problem becomes when you take those stories and you try to project that uh, forward and, and therefore predict the future. And this is where really the myth of the visionary rises up. The myth is that people are born to be great entrepreneurs and that they can look to the future, they can envision what the world is going to be like and then they have this great product idea uh, that therefore they just need to build and execute on, have conviction about the idea, sit down and build it, market will beat a path to the door and they'll achieve this overnight uh, success. It doesn't happen. It's a myth. We've made that up, right? And so there's a couple of there's a couple of problems with that that we think are, are particularly pernicious. And the first is uh, that a lot of people will just say to themselves, well, I'm not a visionary. I don't have that ability. I actually can't predict the future. And therefore, they, they, they're not empowered. They become disempowered. And they believe that they can't make the change that they'd like to see in their life or in their business or, or, or in the world. And, and so these people are discouraged from becoming entrepreneurs or from uh, really going and tackling the ideas, tackling that change that they want to see. So the um, so there's one side, right? There's what we call the sort of the deflated people, right? The people that don't believe that they have something worthy of being uh, taken to the world, right? And then you have the inflated people, right? Which Brant referenced earlier. It's kind of interesting. There's sort of polar extremes, and neither is correct, right? You don't want to be deflated and not feel like you have anything to add because you don't have this perfect idea. And then you don't want the other side either, where you believe you have this perfect idea and then you just willfully ignore market feedback uh, or willfully ignore evolving your idea. Both extremes are wrong. The, um, and if you look at any of the great, true visionary entrepreneurs, be it Steve Jobs, uh, Henry Ford, Edison, maybe even Zuckerberg, they all evolve their ideas from their initial um, uh, from the initial conception. Again, a big a big part of this book is puncturing that myth and and, and removing these handicaps from people uh, uh, about this myth of the visionary. This, and the media has amplified this myth tremendously, and that's why Brett and I are so passionate about this idea. Is that we want to help people get beyond this and 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 show them really what happened and how to tackle these ideas.